followed? By who? Some very bad men. Stay right there. You in charge here? Yes. Where's the girl? I don't know. The girl. You think you can turn your back on us? You have something that belongs to me. Where's the code? Hello. Manny, Jeff in Las hey. Vegas. Hey, hey, Jeff, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for joining me today to talk about Night of the Sicario. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, well, you know, a movie is only as good as its bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, why don't you set the film up for us? Because uh, you're the main bad guy. You're the one getting all the attention. Exactly. No, yeah, no, he's the, it's called Night of the Sicario, and I play the Sicario. Basically, it's a, it's a film, an action of, uh, action thriller. Um, I'm sent from Colombia to go after these, let's say it's a memory stick that has some information regarding cryptocurrency. So I'm after those, that information and I, uh, I get sent to a mansion where uh, a home for, uh, let's say, uh, a home for uh, people retired. And I meet this nurse played by Natasha Hendrich, Hendrich. And uh, I basically is a mouse and cat chase game where I'm after her because I feel like she has the information that I need. And that's where the whole action starts and the drama starts. And when you're reading the script for the first time, uh, can you feel a sense of this character? I mean, and also how far you should go being the bad guy? I mean, has there been discussions on, on kind of your behavior? Because you punch Natasha and stretch in the stomach and kind of cold cocked her in the face a couple of times. It's like, wow. So do you guys discuss how far, you know, Leon should go? Yeah, no, no. It was, everything is, is, is sort of uh, worked out as a dance. I should, I should say it wasn't done crazy like I smack or punch her. Everything was worked out and talked about before we, we started shooting. And, uh, and, uh, and the good thing about playing a bad guy is that a bad guy can do anything and people accept it because he's a bad guy. So that's the beautiful thing about playing. A, plus, I have a bad guy look. So it's like, okay, well, he's the bad guy. <laughs> well, you know, if Leon wasn't bad enough, uh, I, I think, you know, Roberto Sanchez, one of your henchmen, there's fighting among the hit gang. And, you know, I think nothing scarier than when two bad guys are in each other's throats. Exactly. Well, yeah, because I think my character, you know, he has a secret that actually no one knows within his crew what he's up to. So it's interesting that that sort of keeps you watching as well, because you're like, wait, what is he up to that the other two members of his crew don't know? So I think that's very interesting as, as a plot twist within the story. And none of the Sicario, its backdrop is a hurricane. Tell me about working with water. You look kind of miserable. I sh I'm assuming it was cold. <laughs> yeah, it was. We, well, we shot it in, we shot it in the winter in, uh, in Pennsylvania. So it was cold. And, uh, and we got wet. They had these machines, giant machines, where they give you rain and thunder and the whole nine yards. But um, so that's the part I didn't like about shooting the film. <laughs> I bet. And uh, tell me about the director, Joth Riggs. Tell me about his style. What kind of director is he? Oh, man, he's great. You know, he comes from doing all these amazing Hollywood films where he's the first AD. So he knows exactly what he wants to do with the camera and with the actors, uh, which I loved as, as, a, as an actor. I love a director that can hear my voice and understand what I want to do or what I want to say. So that was a plus working with him. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great. And, and again, he knows what to do on set and controls the set very well. And I'm a big fan of Costas Mandalore and he's got such a presence in this film. Uh, how did you guys get along? We got along just fine. <laughs> Costas is a funny, I mean, he's a, he's a great guy because he comes across like this, you know, like this badass, excuse my French, but really he's a kitty cat. And, and I love working with him. We actually done two films together. And uh, yeah, he's an amazing guy. Is this something, Manny, that, uh, you know, if you're good at playing a bad guy, you might get typecast or are you able to do other roles too? No, no, I'm able to do all, all other roles too. And, and what's great about, you know, playing, let's say Leon, you know, that I try to find the heart in these bad guys. Um, in this case, how we work this out is when I, I, when I read the script, I'm like, well, when I spoke to the director, I'm like, hey, can we find him something that maybe is a man that's losing his faith or lost his faith because the film has a touch of you know people doubting their faith so we added that in 
uh, just to make them more human. Not yeah, and, Leon, and Leon was smart too. He was working computer. He wasn't just a mindless killer. I had a sense that he was very educated. Exactly, you know, he was. Plus again, cryptocurrency, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's yeah, you gotta sort of know how to play the, that, that world. Leon's smarter than me when it comes to that, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, Manny, congratulations on a, on a great thriller and I appreciate your time today. And come visit us in Las Vegas when you have a chance. We'd love to have you. Well, that would be great. I would love to do that. And thank you so much for having me.